Hello, my name is Kamakshaya. I am from Social Research Insights. Today I am going to talk about circuit simulations through NGSPICE. NGSPICE is open source software uh, used by many for circuit simulations. It is basically a command driven uh, software. Uh, since it is open source software, it is very easy to install in any open source uh, operating system like Linux. Uh, right now, I am giving this demonstration through uh, Ubuntu Linux where you can just uh, install ng-spice through uh, terminal. You just have to go to the terminal by executing alt control alt t After going to the terminal, you just have to sudo app to get uh, install ng-spice so press enter because I already installed this so I'm not going to install once again uh, I'm going to show you give you a small demonstration as how to simulate a simple circuit with a voltage source with some certain value and after that a small resistor with some certain value both of them connected to ground so I'm going to uh, give you the schema of this simple circuit with uh, one s small resistor and uh, this is gr ground and here I have that uh, negative and positive voltage this is voltage source and here in this scheme I'm writing Vs but uh, in circuit I'll be using V1 and here this is connected to a resistor with uh, possibly with uh, Mm, some 10k ohms resistor and uh, we'll be using this uh, uh, simulation for uh, uh, sweep I mean DC voltage sweep which means we'll be changing the DC input f uh, from a basic a start value to the stop value with the stepwise increment for example, like uh, I wanted to start the simulation starting from 0 to 9 volt with a step value of 1.5 volts. So this is called uh, voltage sweep simulation. Okay. So after you uh, finish your schema, uh, you have to decide about the uh, I mean NGSPICE uh, has a, dis a discipline and it will accept the statements with some certain uh, commands one of the important part of the command is that a device we must have a device with uh, nodes the start node and the end node and a value so this is actually the discipline that we will be using for uh, writing the program and here uh, instead of device you can also sometimes make that will come uh, there are models and sub circuits that we will discuss this is only a small demo on simple circuit so I'm not going more, uh, more into that beyond this uh, content so you just have to remember that we need a device either it should be say here we have two devices one is the voltage source the other is the resistor so we have two devices so we'll be using these two devices in order to write the routine I'll take you back to the terminal you can open any uh, normal text editor uh, in Ubuntu I like uh, gedit so I open with the super user do gedit uh, mm, test circuit or any some other name but uh, see that it ends with an extension CIR which stands for circuit and now you can give your password to open this is a gedit file you can see that name of the file here the very first uh, statement should be the title statement this is a, a sample one resistor circuit and 
rest of the statement should follow asterisk uh, so that we make them comments the only statement which is title is can be free from this asterisk so that the the ng spice will try to understand that this is a title so we have two uh, devices v1 between the nodes 1 0 with a value as i said i uh, as i mentioned earlier it is a sweep uh, dc sweep analysis voltage sweep analysis so we can mention the the value of the dc source later now we have one resistor and this resistor is connected between one nodes one and zero with uh, 10 kilo ohms now come here we are going to do dc analysis for uh, source one and uh, i mentioned zero to nine with the step value five which simply means that start from zero and stop value is nine with a stepwise value 1.5 volts now i am mentioning about the output or the expected out output from the circuit print dc voltage at uh, 1 comma 0 and voltage between one uh, yeah because we have only one zero and one, one zero and one zero both of them it's a simple circuit print dc current at v1 so it and last one which is very important and should not be forgotten while writing the program is end statement so whenever the computer encounters ng spice encounters dot n it assumes that the program ends here now say you can go back ng spice and uh, batch mode test circuit now this is the output given by the ng spice and if you observe the output it clearly mentions that the analysis was done at the temperature 27 degrees i mean this is usually a usual statement uh, whenever we, we do analysis ng spice usually mentions the temperature at which level the analysis was done in the computer and later this is the sweep analysis dc sweep analysis as, you, as i have told you that Mm, the the sweep uh, changes from 0 to 9 and the voltage at source is also the same when the voltage changes and the voltage at source is also changes with, uh, with the, with the ch same change and now this is the uh, circuit uh, simulation when the voltage is 0 the the current in the circuit at source is also 0 when the voltage increases to 1.5 now the current is 1.5 and so on uh, I mean uh, 15 uh, 15 milli amps you see that 1.5 uh, into 10 to the power of minus 4 which means if we remove uh, earmark uh, minus 3 for milli then we'll be left with 110 and you can multiply the the resultant value will be 15 milli amps and here if the voltage is 3 volts or if the voltage increases from 1.2 or doubles then the current in the circuit is 30 milliamps and rest of the values you can see from the analysis so this way we can simply perform the circuit simulation for different parameters uh, if we know the 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 scheme of the circuit uh, clearly okay so in my next video i'll be explaining you how to simulate a circuit with more than one resistor thank you